So what's the science behind huddling? Exactly how does it work? Well, we have a thermal imaging camera trained on me to help explain exactly what's going on. Now, heat is a thermal energy that's constantly flowing around us. And as it flows, it naturally moves from hotter objects to colder objects. To show you what I mean, I'm going to fill this solitary mug in the snow with some hot chocolate. Now you can see it's hot, white or yellow in the center, but very quickly it's losing that heat to the colder air around it. But if I fill all of these mugs of chocolate, huddled together, you should be able to see something very different is happening. All of the mugs are losing their heat much less quickly, particularly the one in the center. And that's because it's protected by the hot mugs around it, but also it's gaining some heat from the collective huddle that's hotter than it is. Therefore, the heat is transferring to that mug in the center. In just a few minutes, you can clearly see the difference, can't you? This cup is now completely cold, having lost all its heat to the elements, while this one is nice and cozy and warm in the center. Now, in the Antarctic, one particular species is using this huddling strategy in such a beautifully complex way that scientists are only just beginning to fully understand it. Emperor penguins are one of nature's great survivors. They can endure the extreme cold of an Antarctic winter where temperatures can plummet to minus 40 degrees Celsius. One by one, the male emperor penguins lock themselves together in a tightly packed group to keep warm and shelter from the intense winds. These huddles can contain as many as 4,000 penguins. And they are constantly moving. Those on the outside push forwards to get closer to the warmth in the center of the group and away from the full force of the Antarctic storms. But the penguins on the inside of the huddle also move around to stop themselves from getting too warm. Recent studies have shown that temperatures at the center can reach an incredible 37 degrees Celsius. So the penguins move away to avoid overheating with others replacing them. 